good morning. It's Wednesday. It's coffee time. I hope you're having a great early morning coffee as you join me for um, hump day, I guess. Yeah, hump day. It's Wednesday. It's halfway through the week and we've been having a good week uh, with some reviews on Monday and Tuesday and we got some great reviews coming up Thursday and then of course our cocktails on Friday. So make sure he joins for all that. If you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Uh, today we're doing a coffee that is um, sadly doesn't look like it's available anymore. I went to their webpage just this morning to, to brush up on some last minute research and it seems to be down. And so I did a little research on the Wayback Machine. That's a uh, web archive and it looks like they've been down since last March. So I don't know if this is a um, victim of the pandemic or economic um, downturn or what, but this company is no longer around and that is Ripple Coffee. Ripple Coffee. I believe that Ripple is a way of making coffee, but this is called Ripple Coffee. <clears throat> It is, there's another company out there called Ripple Coffee as well, but this is different. This is uh, drinkripplecoffee.com, which is no longer around. And I can't find, <clears throat> excuse me, it's morning. Got my morning breath, or morning breath, my morning voice. I don't see that they're selling this product anywhere online or that it's available. There's just nothing out there for it. Which is sad because uh, one thing about Ripple Coffee that makes it unique is that they only buy coffee. It's it's a, a woman-owned company and she only buys coffee from woman uh, coffee bean growers. So it's basically from start to finish a female-led uh, coffee company, which I think is awesome. Uh, and it's really sad that it doesn't seem to be around anymore. Hopefully she moved on to bigger and even better uh, means and um, still stayed in the coffee industry. So this is the Guatemalan brand. Uh, so it's gonna have Guatemalan uh, Ribica beans in it. I ground it, it looks like a very dark roast to me. Uh, there's not a lot of information about the actual coffee that's inside. Mostly you have um, a little history of the uh, Paulette Sullivan, the owner, and what she does. And then on the back, it talks about its commitment um, to building a better <clears throat> um, industry for women. And then on the side, it talks about for every pot you buy, it goes to fair trade and uh, um, recycling. So actually very little about this, which is kind of odd. But it is a medium to dark roast. Um, it seemed like a dark roast to me. It does say medium dark roast, but that's about it. It is uh, Guatemalan, so it's gonna be 100% Arabica. Uh, the price that I could find on the Wayback Machine is about $14, $13.99. And to be quite honest with you, I have absolutely no idea how I got this. I don't know if this was a gift from a viewer or a friend. I don't know if this is something I picked up on the uh, discount bins or on our travels, or if it's something my wife brought. I just, I can't remember. I absolutely can't remember. And I almost always, and I usually say always, but obviously not, I almost always write this stuff down. So yeah, I really, kind of bummed that I don't know where I got this. So if you gave this to me, please, I apologize. Um, I'm not sure who sent that or where I got it from. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's a nice dark roast and I've been smelling it the whole time. It's got a very strong aroma of chocolate and nuttiness, probably uh, maybe almond, a little bit earthiness to it. It's gonna smell, to, I mean, the aroma to me has got a kind of a, a, a bitterness to it, so I think it's gonna be a very strong coffee. Hmm. 
it's actually quite mild compared to its aroma. It's got a really nice, this is a great wake up breakfast coffee uh, for the smell. But it's got a very mild, pleasant flavor of um, that earthy, chocolatey coffee tones to it. So, uh, yeah, not very bitter. I figured it was going to be a little bit bitter because it's a, a, it looks like more of a dark than medium, even though it says medium dark roast. It looks more like a dark roast. I did do a medium grind in the grinder. These are whole beans uh, and medium to medium fine. It's uh, quite pleasant. It's, this double downs on me being sad that this company is no longer around because this is pretty good for uh, $13 kind of craft coffee. I, I really like this. I don't know. If you've had Ripple Coffee, tell me what you think. If you're associated with the old company, maybe you could update us on what's going on, where they're headed, um, or are they completely out of the business? Let us know. Uh, what's your favorite morning coffee? Make sure you leave that comment down below. At $13, this is pretty good price for um, whole bean. So if you do see it anywhere on a shelf, uh, discount wise, or at normal price, go ahead and pick it up. It is well worth it. And um, also you could leave a comment down below about coffee companies or any company, but specifically coffee or um, alcohol companies that have a social uh, agenda like uh, these guys do, which is, I applaud this social agenda for women equality and um, environmental issues. Um, they did a I mean, they went into it with a purpose and a product that I approve of. So tell us what you think about that kind of issue. And I hope you have a great Wednesday. Hopefully you checked out yesterday's uh, video on Blanton's and our video on Monday, which I'm, oh, is that cognac? A really great cognac but your video on Blanton's yesterday. Tomorrow we have a great uh, whiskey video coming up. And then on Friday, Cody and I are going to sit down and do <laughs> one of the craziest cocktails we've ever done. So check that out on Friday. And again, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our merchandise. And I hope you have a great Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.